channel. I got my guy right here, Greg Hackett. What's going on, Greggy? I'm chilling. What's up? Hey, man. Um, were you able to catch those fights this weekend? Yeah, I watched them. Yeah? What, what, what were your thoughts on Keyshawn and uh, Abdullah Mason? Yeah, I mean, Keyshawn did what he was supposed to do. He, um, But he looked good. It was impressive fashion because um, the only other person to stop to stop Pedraza was Tank. You know what I mean? And uh, Keyshawn only having 10 fights at the time, even though they called the last one a no contest, it's still going to books. You know what I mean? Just not counting it. But, they, you know, that shows a lot. I mean, give, you got to give him credit for that. You know what I mean? To stop him like the way he did. Um, Abdullah Mason just looked like a complete monster. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell of a jab, uh, reflexes. You know, everything was working. And he could tell, you could tell that he getting, the, he figuring out what he's able to do and when to do it. Like, you know what I mean? He always was a good fighter, but you could tell he like really learning himself. I mean, um, obviously the people are going to be complaining, uh, comparing that stoppage obviously down the line with Tank and uh, Keyshawn. But uh, he called out Teofimo Lopez at the end. Uh, yeah. Do you think that's far, uh, too much of a far stretch or you think uh, that's right on his alley? I mean, if if uh, if Pedraza could come back down five pounds, Keyshawn could go up five pounds. So I don't think that shit is far fetched. I think it definitely could happen, and I think it need to happen. I think I think uh, To need another fight like that, and and Keyshawn definitely need a fight like that. Facts, facts. Um, I I just interviewed Bed Breadman. It seems like they don't they don't like each other. That's what he told me. What do you think? You think that they don't they have tension? No, they like each other. It, it's just a business, but they gotta act like they don't like each other because that's how you that's how you sell a fight. Because if you're not gonna shake a man's hand if you don't like him, if I don't like you, I'm not gonna shake your hand. Mm -hmm. And they shook and they shook hands at the uh, they shook hands at the uh, uh, press conference. So they they must be some type of cool. Because if I don't like you, I'm not gonna shake your hand. True, true. Uh, main event. Uh, what you what you think? Um, like I said, uh, Jermaine Ortiz, he he realized that Tia Fimo was trying to press him out. Um, he was he was in great shape. Um, he was prepared for the fight. He wasn't going for it. He wasn't going to let uh, uh, Tia Fimo Lopez just do what he wanted to him. You know what I mean? So when he saw how Tia Fimo stepped to him, he said he, he made it up in his mind, like, all right, I'm going to just box him. And he made him look stupid. He made him miss a whole lot. Um, he countered him. He, he he touched him with flurries. Yeah, he didn't land nothing big and flush, but he but he put his hands on him enough to where Tio respected him. The reason I say that is because those times in the middle of the ring where Tio would just stop and wave him in, tell him to come in, and then when he would come in, he didn't try to clash with Jermaine either. He would back up himself. You get what I'm saying? You gotta really watch the fight. And Jermaine Ortiz controlled the pace of the fight. He really he really kept it a boxing match. You know what I'm saying? He and he just he did what he wanted to do. If he didn't do what he wanted to do, T.O. didn't do nothing to stop it. You know what I'm saying? T.O. T.O. didn't do nothing to stop Jermaine Rhythm. The same rhythm Jermaine started the fight with, he finished with. So that's why I give the fight to Jermaine Ortiz because he was winning the fight easy. He was making it look easy. You know what I mean? He was making he was making uh Tia Fimo look stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Um, you, in your eyes, did it surprise you that he went straight southpaw on him? Yeah, because he's not a natural southpaw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's not a natural he's not a natural southpaw. We've seen him do that. Yeah, and he stayed southpaw the whole the whole fight. So, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Tia Fimo really wasn't he really wasn't doing shit. He was trying, but he wasn't doing shit because otherwise we would have saw Jermaine's uh game plan change. And we didn't it change at all. What was your scorecards looking like? Were you were you scoring it like that or what? I had an eight to four. Eight to four Jermaine. Yeah. It wasn't mm. close at all. Because listen, this is how you know it's corruption right here. This is how you know. 117. The commercial 111, break, right? bro. The commercial break. Commercial break for sure. But listen, 117, 111, right? All right. Let's say we did give. How was it? Because he won more than three. So how you only give him three?
that 111, 117. What do you think? What, what, what do you what do you think about people saying you got to take it from the champ? Uh, what what would you say about those people? I understand. All right, listen. I understand that philosophy, but if the champ is not doing shit, you can't just give him the fight either. Mm. He wasn't doing nothing. He was trying, but so we just so so basically what we saying is if you champ, as long as you try, you good. That's what we saying. Because T.O. didn't land shit, bro. He didn't really land shit. I mean, I didn't give him that fight. And I know he still won the fight, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I mean, at, at this for, at this point in time, Jermaine Stock, did it grow? Did it grow? Did it, did it, it grow? Diminish or did it stay? Now, you good. There was like a little... Yeah, you can hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, Greg? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Are you? You can hear us, Greg? Smash that like button. Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yo, come in and come out. Can you can you see me? Am I moving or am I frozen? Chat. Who who's Wi-Fi is tweaking right now? Me or Greg's? Smash that like button while you at it as well. You can't hear me, Greg? Greg, so Greg's Wi-Fi is messed up. Say, Greg, your Wi-Fi is messed up. Say it. Tell them. Say it again. That you, they're saying your your Wi-Fi is messed up. Can you hear us now? You can or you can't. Because they're saying it's. He is breaking side. up. C come out and come back in. Maybe that's what it is. I think you have. A yeah, back I can hear you. Now. I can hear you now. All right. Can can y'all everything everything he good? Like skitzy, like it's, it's, it's skipping this shit. Oh, they they said Greg, your Wi Fi is out of pocket. Um. So how are your bars right now, Greg? You froze. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if the like button is near you. You can see it. But smash that like button. This video is from the 1940s. Where about the AJ in the building? D1. D1, what's going on? Bang, bang, boogie, what's going on? Low Nose Boxing, Jackie Hernandez. All the members of Mill City Boxing, what's going on? What's going on? Become a member of Mill City Boxing, ladies and gentlemen. It's pinned in right in the comments right there. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, most likely, we'll be getting uh, my man Greg back on here. Um, his his Wi Fi tweaking. You know what I'm saying? Um, we'll get that. We'll get that straightened out real soon. But uh, smash that like button. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm pretty sure he'll be tapping right back in with us. So I need y'all to smash the like button. If you can't see the like button, there's probably three dots in the corner. Press the three dots and then smash the like button so we can improve the visibility of the show. Um, I don't know if the you know if y'all can see the like button, but if y'all can really see that like button, please go ham and smash that like button for me, man. Mel, you've been cooking lately. I've been trying to, I've been trying to keep this boxing, you know what I mean, on my shoulders right now lately. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, everybody. Andy Cruz next, next Mill City. I'll get Andy. I got you. I got you. But you know I gotta get Subriel back up in here too. But I got Andy. I gotta get Andy. He's a great 
a great fighter, and I definitely want to get Andy up in here. I'll make sure I get Andy up in here. I know the people to contact to get Andy, so we'll get him. We'll get him up in here. But I need y'all to smash that like button so improve the visibility of the show. So I'm gonna be getting the call ins in here uh, real shortly, um, and also uh, waiting on uh, Antoine Russell to pick up the phone. I know he's working out. You know what I'm saying. So I think we'll probably come. We'll probably get him in the tail end of his workout. Um, if we're still on here and we're grooving and we're smashing the like button and you know what I mean? Well, we can go on here for a long time and make sure that we get all these interviews done. But in other words, I need you guys to smash the like button. So that way, you know what I mean? The algorithm of this can just stack up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, do me that favor, ladies and gentlemen, and just help, help out the show. You know what I mean? And also become a member. We we're you know we're we're gathering up the members. I'm loving all the blue, the blue stars and the blue badges and stuff like that. But get into the poll. Uh, I think that this is probably going to be like the obviously this is like the last couple of days after the fight. So obviously we're going to be speaking upon this, but we have to end this Jermaine Ortiz and Tiafimo Lopez talk eventually. Um, I think after today or tomorrow or something like that, we can just get off of it, right? Uh, but this stuff happens in boxing. We just got to keep it a hundred. Um, nevertheless, in the polls, you guys have it. 62 votes. So we need more than that, ladies and gentlemen. We need over 100 votes. We need over 100 likes. Um, come on, ladies and gentlemen. We need, we need to get busy. Mill Mills, we got Matias today. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. I just... Uh, Got a hold of Matias's manager. He just texted me back. So I'll let you guys know when that Matias interview uh, will be happening. It'll it most likely be happening real, real, real shortly. Um, nevertheless, uh, let's be real. Um, if y'all think it's Jermaine Ortiz won that fight yesterday, uh, this weekend, or Tiafimo Lopez, I'm trying to tell you, today and tomorrow will be the last time I speak upon this fight. I mean, I'll probably speak upon it with, like, the people that I interview. You know what I'm saying? I will because I need – y'all want that information. Y'all want to understand, you know, what other people's point of view was, right? Of course, right? So I'm going to do that for this week. And then after that, you know what I mean, we got to really start tackling this Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney talk. We really got to do that. And um, – we got to talk about where do you think the pay-per-view sales are going to go? Do you think they're going to go high? Do you think they're going to reach up to 300? Do you think they're going to hit half a million? A lot of people, I'm getting mixed emotions upon what people really believe in when it comes down to the pay-per-view sales of that fight. Is it a big fight and who do people favor? I do believe more people will favor... Um, you know, Devin Haney, but this card is a golden boy and the zone card. Who is the A side in this fight as well? I'm curious to know what everybody's thoughts are. Um, but nevertheless, like I said, um, we're going to give some time to the chat uh, so you guys can call in, speak your, you know, speak your mind, ask your questions and, and uh, drop your jewels. Uh, but most most and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to get over 200 likes on this one, man. Let's go. Now, smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Uh, once again, uh, to become a member, it's pinned into the chats. So if you guys want to come out, support the channel on another level, um, um, get all those, uh, those perks when it comes down to, you know, uh, exclusive videos and then we're going to be doing the live chats where you guys could be able to stay in the chat room and speak upon each other and that's going to be happening real soon um and salute to all my new subscribers make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well we're almost at twenty thousand subscribers so i need y'all help man i need y'all help um the fix was in with the referee mill city did you see that listen what did i tell you Y'all don't listen to me when I talk. I said I want Jermaine Ortiz to win. But I gave you what was going to happen. And did I say it was going to go the distance? Yes, I did. Did I say that it was going to go to Teofimo Lopez? Yes, I did. But y'all don't want to. And that's my. I'm cool with Jermaine Ortiz. 
Shout out to Gary Russell Jr. in the building. Gary Russell, Antoine, Antoine, Gary, Antoine, Russell in the building. What's going on? What's going on, my brother? Oh, man. Uh, fresh out the gym. You got to forgive me. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Can't see you. It's like pitch black. Would you put, you didn't, you didn't turn your, oh, okay, I can see something now. All right, we can see you. We here, we can build it. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fresh out this gym, man. You gotta How was the workout? It was good, it was good. I got some new equipment and stuff like that. Oh, fire, fire, yeah, fire. fire. So. Well, right into it, man. <laughs> Let's get it. Pop, 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 boom. All right, <laughs> Gary Antoine Russell starts on this weekend's fights, where you want to start from the, the co-main event or the main event? Where you want to jump in? All right. Well, I got to inform you. I didn't see all of the fights. I saw uh, Mason, Abdul Mason. Yep. And Teofimo. That's all I saw. The TV network was kind of like shaky and flaky on my ass. I was kind of like upset. Like, dang, I can't see all of the fights. So I had to actually like skip around a little bit just to get the channels that I wanted. So, whichever one between Abdul and Teofimo Lopez, I'm all for it. All right, cool. So, what you think about Abdullah? Abdullah, he's nice. I like him very sound. He's young, which is good, even better, because a lot of times they say um, hard work be talent. But mm -hmm. he, he obviously put in hard work and he got talent. You know what I mean, and you can't you can't stop both of those uh, attributes. If you got both of those, a person damn near got to be bionic to beat you. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, at that point, you just can't handle off days. And I've seen a lot of fighters from elite to up and coming get old overnight. You know what I mean? If that makes sense to you. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for, for an example, you had an Oscar De La Hoya who, who was undisputed, reigning champion in this division, and you get in there with Floyd, and it looked like you just started because he outthought you. You know what I mean? Or you get in there with a Bernard Hopkins, and it looked like you just started, and he outthought you. You can't get old overnight type of thing. You know what I mean? So that's a, a terminology. Basically, every dog has his day is, a, is another terminology. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, but I don't think he's going to have that. He's young. He's hungry. He's sound, fundamentally sound. Um, he got good foot movement. He poised, you know. Uh, so when it comes down to him able to get hit and, and not really panic, he very composed. And he accurate. That's something that you want in a professional, uh, I guess, growth. You got a lot of amateurs that's making the transition from amateur to professional. And that that transition sometimes is like it's difficult to get away from your amateurish behaviors or, or, or concepts. And right now he looking good and, and professional. I like that. I like that. As a matter of fact, he gonna bring some spunk to the sport. If he come up to one forty, I would love to see that. You know, I mean, at this point, anybody at one forty can get it. But for me, but if I had to talk about him and his his skill set, man, Shorty gonna be nice. He's gonna be nice. <laughs> now that you brought it up, let's talk about your division, bro. Cause that's shit. That's all you gotta talk about when it comes to boxing. Uh... If it ain't 140, it ain't, and you ain't really talking much. I got to talk about my brother from another mother. Man, look, I already told him, I said, hey, bro, you better make sure you stay on point. I told him this before 2016. Eventually, we're going to see each other. Eventually, we're going to see each other. Stay on point. You know I love you, but when we step in that square, may the best man win. Mm -hmm. T.O. Fimo Lopez. What the fuck? A lot of people technically, like critically, technicality-wise, thought he lost. Yeah. But me, realistically, I'm no like, all right, he, he, uh, he applied pressure the whole entire fight. 
you know, um, he was airballing. Yeah, he was he was airballing, not landing the shots that he wanted to land upstairs. But he made the adjustment and started touching the body, slowing down his his target, making yeah. his target more uh, stabilized and stationary. Now, did he get the performance that he wanted to have? No. The guy uh, Ortiz, he, he boxed. He stayed now, away. He kept you, fought, you fought Ortiz in the amateurs. I want to say one time. Yeah, because when I was trying to talk to you about it, you 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 kind of like didn't remember. A long time ago, yeah. And then listen, once you beat so many people, it's just like, all right, that's my past. What's what's up and coming next? So it's kind of like, man, I don't I don't really remember all the faces that I done trashed and smashed. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, man. No disrespect, but that's what it is. No disrespect, but that's what it is, man. If you're in the past, you're in the past. You got to catch up to me at this point. He's like, do you remember all the shorties you right. used to I, I, I was this close to forgetting Santiago. I was like, man, what, the, the, what is his name? Santiago. So, yeah, that's right. Shit. I did fight like So you, you tell me, what did they make the right decision? Like I was saying. Like I was saying, Ortiz he boxed, but it wasn't no it wasn't no thing of effective boxing. You know what I mean? It wasn't effective boxing. Mm -hmm. You in a championship fight, main event. At this point, your position, you got to beat the champ to beat the champ. He yeah. wasn't fighting like he was trying to take a title or make a statement. He was fighting and performing like. I lost to him in the amateurs. He got better as a pro. I don't want to get touched by Teofimo Lopez. I don't want to lose. I don't want to get hurt. I want to do everything uh, that's responsible. I'm mm. not saying get reckless in it, but if you want a certain level of skill, something my father used to say, God rest his soul, I love him to death. He say, if you're better, be better. Hmm. So when it comes down to recklessness for real, for real, or, or should I say taking risks, it's not really a risk if you know you got the skills to do certain shit. And I believe that if you knew that you were fighting Teofimo Lopez and you say that you were on a certain level professionally, you should be able to go in there and take this fight to that boy and, and take his title. Mm. You should be able to show certain attributes of your skills within your arsenal showing like to the world like yeah i can do this i can do this i can do this yeah i'm boxing right now but it's a game plan watch i flip the script later on in the round like when round six hit or round seven he said he had the same game plan for all 12 rounds he just ran you know he stayed responsible like he like i said he didn't take no risk and it really wouldn't be deemed as a risk if you were that high skilled if you're better than your opponent be better if you're going to box and stick and move and really not land anything flush to the point that you're going to slow your opponent down, cool, do that to kind of like get him fatigued. But later in the rounds, you got to switch it up so you can start stopping this guy in his tracks because he's still coming. Like his third round. Tio Fimo look, didn't even look like he got tired. There's mm. a lot of air balls going on. That's why Tio Fimo started going to the body. He saw that he was running. What I can say is I thought, man, my brother – from another mother would have been smarter enough to, to cut the ring off better. Like, God damn. Yeah. You know what I mean? But hey, to each his own. You know, he got he got the victory and I believe the decision was a, a correct decision because the champion wasn't beat. He wasn't beat. Understood. Understood. Now, um, in your eyes, as far as the division is concerned, how are Fighters such as yourself look at this performance. Besides all that, you know what I'm saying. Like, how do I see that performance? Is there any type of exposure here? Did 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 Jermaine present any type of problems to Teal that you be like, "Oh, Teal, better stay away from me." Type of deal. 
Honestly, honestly, it, I, I definitely saw some kinks in both of their arms. You know, I think being a critic when it comes to the sport, you definitely got to have the eyes, eyes for it. Like uh, the IQ, you got to have uh, the, the, the ability to pull off the things that you see that can be exploited or exposed, you know what I mean? Certain guys, they got a game plan, but are you equipped enough to pull it off? That type of thing, that matters. Like, I know me personally, I'm equipped to to get at both of their ass. I got pressure. I got a lot of heart. I got ring IQ. I got speed. I can box. A lot of people, I just heard, heard an interview um, saying that Matias will be a bad matchup for me because if I'm willing to get in there with Matias and I'm bringing forth the same game plan like I brought to everybody else supposedly, which is pressure, I'm going to lose. Listen, styles make fights, and most of the time, majority of the time, intelligence wins the fights. It's that simple. Now, would it be smart for me to be just mono a mono with Matias? No. Not to change the topic, but I'm basically getting into uh, 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 detail on me being versatile. Mm -hmm. Fimo Lopez, I will box him. I could box him to the point I can get him frustrated, just like old boy did, Ortiz. Ortiz did frustrate him because he could, he couldn't get close to him. Ortiz kept running. Fimo, he wanted to fight. It's a championship fight. Let's fight. You know what I mean? And Ortiz, him being safe, overly safe, he boxed him. He boxed. He stayed away. I really can't say it was effective boxing because it wasn't effective boxing. You really wasn't landing no clean shots. You really wasn't landing no effective shots, like hard punches, to the point that you're making Teofimo Lopez stop and think, like have a... a, a, a a second thought process, like let me rethink this for come before I come in. No, it was no respect from T.O. Like I'm about to walk you down because you're running. You're not really throwing nothing. You're not really touching me. You're not hurting me. You're not even trying to hurt me. You're running. So the respect level was gone out the window for Ortiz dealing with T.O. Fimo Lopez. He didn't respect Ortiz. T.O. Fimo didn't respect him. He didn't have the punch of power. He didn't have the the the, the game plan that would make Teofimo Lopez second guess himself or, or second guess applying pressure. The whole entire fight, he applied pressure. But I can say he got frustrated and it showed. He got frustrated because he couldn't land upstairs. He landed probably three clean punches or four clean punches upstairs that got Ortiz attention. Like flush was. You know what I mean? But after that, he, Ortiz ran like he, he planned. And Teofimo, he didn't like that. He started going downstairs. He started going downstairs, make his target more stationary. Now, I think if it, if it, if it was me, if I was the box Teofimo Lopez, give the fans a fan friendly fight. If I was the box Teofimo Lopez for four rounds, and didn't give him what he want, he'd run into some hard shit. Mm. And I love him dearly. Now he need to work on that. And I, I, I honestly, they say love gets you hurt, love gets you killed. In this sport, you can't go in them in in the ring being pacifist. This is just me being a critic on on the sport that I love. You know, and, and I'm giving y'all my IQ. This is what I see. Like I said, styles make fights, and both of them was exposed or teased. He really can't fight going backwards. Even though he was boxing, he really can't fight going backwards. Because it was a couple of times, Teofimo Lopez, he did manage to cut the ring off. Not as good as he should have, but it was a couple of times he did. And Ortiz was just stuck. Like, he froze. He froze. He grabbed, he turned, and started doing, like, some rabbit punching. Mm-hmm. You know, he tried to hurry up. That's that's equivalent to somebody throwing like a, 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 a unorthodox type of off guard, offset, get off me type of punch, fearful type of shot. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, Scott, we call that scatter fighting. You know how dogs, when when dogs get attacked, they're not really a aggressive dog, 
But because another aggressive dog came and tried to bite them, they scream. And while they screaming, they still like nipping back. They're not really grabbing and shaking. If a dog really want to hurt you, he going to grab you. He going to lock hold and he going to shake whatever right. he got. Like he going to ragdoll you. Gordo, Gordo was showing that ragdoll mentality. And Ortiz, he was showing that scatterbiting mentality. Like, ah, hold on, wait, I wasn't ready. Let me, let me get out of here. And it wasn't even no Floyd Mayweather type of, let me get out of here, set you up for something. Like I told somebody before, I said, a lot of these fighters, they're trying to imitate Floyd and do what Floyd do, but they're not Floyd. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I guess tomato, tomato. If this if this what you like, then go ahead and do it. But just know you got to do it great. You got to be great at doing it, not good. Right. You got to be great at doing it because you're putting yourself in harm's way, making yourself a one-arm fighter or making yourself uh, defensive, uh, uh, defensively deficient. You know what I mean? So be, be mindful. And you in the pros. That's an amateurish mistake right there. But he can't fight going backwards. Uh, Ortiz, um, it was one time he did try to counter, but everybody do good stuff when they still fresh. He tried to counter uh, Teofimo Lopez, I want to say, with a one-two. Teofimo Lopez, he leaped in with a hook, missed. And Ortiz, he skipped back and tried to shoot a clean one-two, and he missed. You know, but the eyes was there as far as alertness and defense-wise. But when Tio started really picking up tempo up and started following him and trying to cut the ring off and catch him, Ortiz is like, "Oh, wait, let me, let me, let me move, because he's getting too close. I don't, I don't want to sit there and, and just brawl with him. I, I don't, I don't think that that reflect on his heart being rugged. In this profession, you gotta have a rugged heart. You gotta have like relentless." amount of 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 anger heart and, and and bravery yep you know what i mean and a lot of times bravery reflects on how much are you willing to take this fight from this person my will versus your will mm -hmm. it wasn't a will it wasn't a will battle when it came to them two it was more so okay i'm gonna stick to the game plan i'm not gonna get hit versus i'm gonna outwill you I'm going to beat your ass. Teofimo had it. I'm going to beat your ass mentality, as the champion should. And Ortiz, I mean, he was just, I'm trying to survive. Mm. Yeah. That's how things was coming off, man. It was like, God, man, shit. T.O.? <laughs> So in your eyes, um, now looking at the landscape of the champions, um, has your mind switched up upon who's the top dog? No. You I, feel like I'm, that... I, feel like, I feel like I'm still the top dog. What you talking about? Hey, I didn't say that the guy is in the division. I said that the, the champions. You know, I yeah, remember yeah, you said something about right. Teal. Okay, okay. Well, my fault. I'm like, oh, the top dog. What you talking about? Nah, I remember you saying that Tia was the top dog because of who he beat. No, and no, 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 no. I, I, I see, I see. Down the line, I see it's already in order. You got Devin Haney, Tia Fimo Lopez. You have Matias, and you got Roly Ramirez. And it stands that way still. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was I'm, the best at 140 in your eyes. Besides me? Like, yeah. take me out of the equation? Yeah. Skill-wise? Man, why you put me in this position, man? Because I, I, I honestly, I just want to say, man, look, the hell with all of them. You know what I mean? But at the same time, if I really had to be fair, it it'd be shit. It'd be Devin. So you think Devin can beat Matias? You think Teals could beat uh Teal could beat Matias? 
You think Devin can beat Tio as well? No, I think I think I think Devin can beat Matias. Why? Because Devin and Teofimo Lopez, they bring two different styles. Yep. Yeah, they both box. They both could box. But Devin Haney, he got more of a intelligent, uh, I know when to engage with certain opponents and when not to. Teofimo Lopez, he's more on the line of like, it will, it, it's possible for it a fight with him, he would get in the mindset of emotionalizing. Like, uh, he hit hard, but I don't care. I, I'm mad that he touched me. So come on, motherfucker. And now your ass looking at the lights. Mm. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I already told you that. He got some, th- he got some thumpers. He ain't got no hella fire skills. But he got some pop. Definitely. Definitely got some pop. And that's all the person really needs to make the fight go in the opposite direction. That and, and, and a little bit of courageousness and belief in itself. True. How the hell do you think Rody Ramirez got the way he is? He ain't got no elified skills. He's strong. Right. He believes in himself. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Let somebody slip up. It'll be an a upsetting-ass night for him, even against a, a Roly Ramirez. Mm. See, Ophimo Lopez, he can't afford to get emotional with no Matias. Mm. Do, do he got the skills to beat him? Yeah, I believe so. But I've, I also know that he gets emotional. Devin Haney, on the other hand, more he would stop. He would, he's more disciplined. He would stop himself from getting overly emotional. He knows, okay, this motherfucker can punch hard. Yeah, I can punch, but I don't punch like him. Oh, he's slow as hell. This, this is the mentality. Oh, he's slow as hell. I'm faster than him. I can out slick him. I can slip all his punches. I'm going I'm to make him run into my shots. I'm going to stay away from him. And 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 when he get tired, I'm going to sit in the pocket. I'm going to sit in the pocket and, and, and touch him up, touch him downstairs, you know, and, and, and make him pay for his missed shots. Now, Matias was to go throw two punches and miss. Devin Haney going to say, whoo, whoo, pop, pop. Back Ooh. with a jab. He ain't gonna skip back, but he's gonna keep him honest. Gonna skip back, touch him with two, keep him, keep him at bay with a, with a good two jabs, a good nice two jabs, you know what I mean? If not one jab move, but he's gonna come back and recess uh, assess the landscape. He's gonna get right back in the pocket with him. I ain't saying he's gonna lock his hands and say, all right, come on, Matias. He's not gonna do that. He's gonna be responsible. He's not going to get overly emotional. If the fight take him long and he got to take him in deep waters, then cool. Devin Haney is the type that to do that. Versus a Teofimo. He like, man, I don't want to go. I don't want it to go 12 rounds. I'm a fighter. This motherfucker think he can beat me. I'm going to show him that he can't beat me. You want to sit here and trade? I'm going to try to catch and fire. I'm going to try to catch and hit you with some pre stuff. Upper cut. You can't be too close with a puncher doing all this pretty stuff and you not defensive discipline all the way. You ain't got that foundated like how it should be. And you're getting emotional. So now you you putting yourself in harm's way. Facts. Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, we got 350 people on the live. Only 51 likes. I got my man Gary Antoine Russell. Smash that like button for a great interview so far. Um, great intel on that as well for, for um, this weekend's fights, no, last weekend's fights. But we just got news. April 20th, now Ryan Garcia versus uh, Devin Haney. Like, what's your thoughts on the, the just the fight, just hearing about it, and then, you know, your analysis? The fight is a good fight. I think it's a good fight for Devin Haney. It's definitely going to show a level of adversity for the both of them because 
You got Ryan, who's bouncing back from a loss from a champion, which is, I mean, a loss is a loss, and that's not something that anybody would want in this profession. But let's let's be real. If you lose by a champion, it ain't but much so much weight that uh, that comes with that. You lost to a champion. It ain't like you lost to a scrub. Canelo, he lost to Floyd. That was his only loss. He lo you lost to a champion. In many divisions, he's a champion in this division, in this division, and in this division. And he just came up to your division and he beat your ass. So, that's a bet. So don't get upset. It was something that was bound to happen, basically. You know what I mean? So, so it's kind of like, come on, you lost to a champion, Ryan. Uh, come on, just, just bounce back, man. Just bounce back, get the ball rolling again, and uh, show that you you develop some some new attributes and, and a new outlook on what you need to do and the sport in, in general. So with him fighting the Devin Haney, a lot of times he fought guys that were just brute strength, bring it, bring it to the table, brute strength, um, or just physically bigger than him. I, I think Devin Haney, he's more lean. They kind of like got a similar body structure. Devin Haney is definitely wider, but um, as far as a fighting style, he's a boxer. And Ryan Garcia, he's a boxer. Only thing I think Ryan really, do, really could do effectively to make the fight come to a halt or end is land a hook. He cannot go into this fight looking for no one punch knockout. Devin Haney ain't going for that. He's not. That's true. So now you're going to have to see Ryan applying pressure. The only time I ever seen Ryan apply pressure was in the beginning rounds when he fought Tank. It was the only time that he damn near started throwing elbows, to be honest. I see, I see you, you slick motherfucker. I said, I see you, Ryan. The damn near started throwing some elbows, but it's cool. He's going to have to apply that same type of pressure when it comes to Devin Haney because Devin Haney, he's going to box his ass too. He's going to box and box it. Devin Haney going to box and box it until he get comfortable, find his range, and before you know it, he's going to be picking them apart. You, you think that fight goes the distance? Of course. Of course. Ryan, he's, he's not stupid. You know, he's the type, he get hurt. He's not going to just sit there and just trade with you while he's hurt. He's going to grab. He's going to slide in, close the distance, slide in and grab you and stuff like that until he recuperates. That's Ryan. That's smart. You know, as a professional, that's that's the responsible thing to do. Either bring them hands high, catch, catch, fire, slide in close. You know, whereas though the guy can't get nothing really effective off or no leverage off of his punches. Because you already hurt, why let him get at range with so he can line you up again? Slide yeah. in, hands tight. If you ain't got your hands up, grab them. Get your recuperations, get your equilibrium back. Let the referee say break. Let's reset this shit. I think Ryan, he's going to do that. He's smart enough to do that. He's been hurt before, and that, that was his go-to responsibly. And that's, just, that's, that's what you're supposed to do as an athlete in, in this profession. You know, not supposed to trade. Not supposed to just sit there and, and, and thug it out with no guy that's already knocking your your, your noodles loose. Your, lo your noodles are already damn loose, and you want to just sit and let this guy hit you some more. Nah, be responsible. That's why you got defense. Do you do you do you believe that what had happened with them and the amateurs being like three for three? matters in, in in a match like this now that they're in the pros it's like you and it's like you and boots but obviously you 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 won fight more the majority of the fights but it's like does it matter in the pros i mean i'm not everybody everybody not me it matters to some people they call that a psychological thing it's a psychological thing and that's something that you can't control and that goes back into having a, a good a, a, a good corner you know a good team because a lot of times you got fighters in here in this sport that uh they can have a good coach they can have a good trainer like assistant trainer and stuff like that mid man and stuff like that because normally that's who's working the corner your mid man your head coach and a cut man 
that's it, that's your that's your team right there. Hmm. And your team can be giving you good instructions, but it's up to the individual, the fighter, the one that's participating, to take heed to these instructions and bring it to life. Your corner see what you can't see. Yes, you in it, but they got a better perspective. They got a better view. You know what I mean? Your corner. So now when your corner say, hey, man, look, you got to start touching this kid downstairs. You got to start going three downstairs and, 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 and two upstairs. Three, one, two, whatever numbers or code that they use, your coach is telling you this because he sees this outside looking in. You got to trust them. Psychologically, you got to be in a position where so I can trust my coach. My coach is telling me exactly what to do is going to work if I pull this shit off. Mm. Now, so, like I said, that's a that's a psychological viewpoint. Now, when it comes back to old history with fighting people and your past and amateur, it's kind of like, okay, well, I beat them last last three or, or, or let's say I beat them last seven years ago when we was amateurs or 12 years ago when we was in amateurs and kids. I know he won't get back. That's a psychological thing. Yeah. Vice versa, on a, on a, on the opposite side, psychologically, this motherfucker beat me when we was in the uh, the ringside tournament in amateurs, and I never got the chance to fight him again. I know how he gonna fight this time. I'm I'm gonna fight him harder. Watch, watch. That's a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like. I really can't control who does what once they go up against an opponent that they already been up against. Right. That's them. Me personally, right. yes, I know people change. People change. The mind change. No, but there are some things that stays the same too. Yep. Absolutely. That's why we bank on the, the scientific aspect of, of the sport. Like, come in shape. in good health, physically, and every c cylinder is firing how it's supposed to fire. When, it, when it's coming to speed, your listening skills, your defensive discipline, as a machine, all of these, all of these uh, uh, cylinders, they gotta fire like how, how you need them to because you're practicing this stuff in a gym, but you're practicing it in a gym for a reason because come to real dance, it got to gotta relate. You know mm. what I mean? That It got to reciprocate. That's a fact. That's you a know? fact. Exactly. So that's the science of the sport. Like, these are the things that you have to have in order before you get in that ring. Can't get around that. Whether I fought you before in the past or not, if every cylinder of yours isn't firing how it's supposed to, like you didn't overwork yourself in the gym and you came in the fight and third round you like dehydrated. That's not my fault. That's a you thing. Mm. And guess what? I'm about to dig into your ass. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. Oof. You Just know what I mean? So yeah. a lot of things, it could be psychological, but Scientifically, it's stuff that, that would never change. I got right. another example. I got another example. Have you ever seen a fighter that fight a certain way, like their whole career, and once they went up against an opponent, they just, like, change the way they fight? Yeah, of course. Exactly. That's a psychological thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fought him before. I know he think I'm going to fight like this. Look at Jermaine Ortiz. Jermaine Ortiz don't fight the way he fought with Teofimo. He's more right, aggressive. Right, right, right. He's on the back leg. He was on his bike. Mm -hmm. Normally, he's in the pocket. He's stalking. He's countering. This time, he was like, man, like, I'm about to run from this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. Getting into some of these super chats, make sure you guys smash the like button. We got the one and only Gary Antoine Russell in the building. Appreciate each and every person that's putting some color in the chat. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We got Old Mac Original. Thank you for the $2. They run. They running saying they boxing. Gary, what you think? Man, if you're going to box, you got to be an effective boxer. 
that simple. There's nothing wrong with boxing, but be effectively uh, 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 penetrating and, and, and opposing a wheel. You got to penetrate this guy's armor. If this guy, if this guy is applying pressure, you can box. But best believe you're gonna have to show that I right, my boxing skill is effective. Like I'm touching you with shots that you know you're not supposed to be getting touched with. I'm countering you. I'm cutting you. That's effective boxing. Ineffective boxing is okay. I'm boxing. I'm staying out of range, but I'm shooting air balls. I'm not hitting you here. I'm trying to counter you. I'm making you miss, but I'm not making you pay for for what you missed for what you just did because I can't land the shot. That's ineffective. That's ineffective. If that's not working, and and you just banking on staying out of out of out of range and out of reach to win the fight, you're not going to win a fight. You got to take it to this to this opponent at this point. You got to take the fight from him. Yeah. You know, some old school, some old school coaches used to say, used to, uh, prime example, uh, uh, um, Timothy Bradley did this one time. Take the last 30 seconds. Stay away, box, keep a good jab. Really not Still effective. Still around. Still the last 30 seconds of the round. 30 seconds. Timothy Bradley, he come in. Yeah, da, 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 da. Da, 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 he started outworking his opponent. Now his opponent, like, oh shit, he just came in with an onslaught of punches. Like, I wasn't expecting that. The last mm-hmm. 30 seconds, it, the judges see that he applied pressure through a, a, tr- a tremendous amount of punches in such short period of time, racked up points, such short period of a time, and it's so short of a period of a time that. On an opposing end, you wasn't even ready for it, so you can't even get those points back because the round is over and done with. Guess who round that? Who who who, who that round uh, uh went to? A side. I'm right. Took the last thirty seconds. That was a, a that's a strategic thing that old coaches used to used to tell their fighters to do. Yeah, based off of styles. Mm-hmm. Makes sense, yeah. Especially when you got, you know, a high pressure, high volume guy that you can't match that output because you know what your gas tank is and you know what it is at eight rounds, ten rounds, twelve rounds. You got to prepare for it and you got to have strategy for it. So I completely understand. Um, let me get into this other super chat here as well. We got uh, KYYY. Uh, thank you for the four dollars. I mean, four ninety nine. You weigh in, you weigh in like one thirty seven or one thirty eight. Uh, would you, would you think to move down to one thirty five for a tank fight? It depends. But I already said I want to clear out one forty before I do anything. Mm. Yeah. He's looking for that 140. I got another one here. Um, AI, thank you for the 499. He's out here teaching. Go ahead. He's out, he's out here teaching, spitting a lot of wisdom. I feel inspired, and I'm not even a boxer. Appreciate you, fam. Uh, salute, AI salute. in the building. AI in the building. You got some time for some callers? Why not, man? Why not, man? Let's, let's, let's get into it. We're going we're gonna to do a couple of callers. Then I'm going to Bow Wow West be up out of here. Bow Wow West be up out of here. I like that one. All right, cool. We'll do that real quick. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be your opportunity to uh, call in on Mill City Boxing on the Instagram live. Um, we'll, be, no, we'll, be, we'll be doing it right here so you can hear them. All right. You can hit you'll be able to hear everybody ask your questions and you already know it's boxing talk here. Yeah. So phone lines are now open, ladies and gentlemen. So 
Phone lines are open, ladies and gentlemen. Phone lines are open. Make sure you guys tap in Mill City Boxing. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. YouTube channel, Mill City Boxing. And we got here another one. Uh, Gary Antoine Russell. So smash that like button as well, ladies and gentlemen. We need over 100 likes. We got 315 people on the live as well. What's going on, Coach Calvin? And the live was popping. Yes, get us them likes, get us them questions. Come on, y'all, tune in. We need this. We need this. You know I mean? All, of, all of it helps. All of it support. Appreciate you for stopping by too, Gary. Man, real rap. Hey, definitely, um, man, definitely. But once again, guys, we are live on Mill City Boxing on Instagram Live for the call-ins on YouTube. So for anybody that's on YouTube, we got over 300 people on here. So make sure you guys get into the call-ins. The call-ins are open. You still there, Gary? I'm still here. All right, cool, cool, cool. You went black, but somebody called you? Yeah, yeah, dang. But my screen is good to go. Hold up, hold up. I'm, uh, you come I'm out like, and come back in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. K-Y-Y-Y, thank you for the $2. How many times can we expect you in the ring in 2024? Get you that question right as soon as he comes in. Thank you, K-Y-Y, for the $2. Make sure you guys become a member of Mill City Boxing by, um, you know, the, the link is in the comments. So make sure you guys come out, support Mill City Boxing. On another level, you know what I mean? And uh, get the exclusive content, uh, be able to talk to the fighters, uh, exclusive lives. I'm trying to tell you, man, it's going to be something that you don't want to miss out on. And salute to all my members right now that are supporting me right now and just not jumping the, you know, hopping on the bus too late. You know what I'm saying? Just hopping on just in time. Salute to everybody, though. Appreciate y'all. Smash that like button, man. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? We're almost at 100 likes, guys, so let's get these likes up, man. Let's go. Smash that like button. Would he be open to fight Shakur Stevenson? Well, got to call in. Once he comes in, you guys are more than welcome to tap in. Once again, we are live on Instagram and on YouTube, and we're... Here with Gary Antoine Russell. And uh, his screen, someone just gave him a call, so he'll be right back just to have a couple call-ins. And you already know. It is what it is. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers, so I need your help to, you know, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, let's get these numbers up, man, so we could really uh, be able to get accepted to all the credentials and all that other good stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? HOD, are you getting on the panel? Mm, who's calling in? Mm, who's calling in? Who's calling in? Either way, Antoine, we're just waiting on him regardless. So I need y'all just to go out there and smash that like button as well, all right? We're on. We're almost at 100 likes, guys. And like I said, we got over 300 people on the YouTube live. So smash that like button. You know where you need to talk that boxing. It's right here on Mill City Boxing. Just waiting on Antoine to revive. But uh, what's your thoughts? I'm going to be putting up a poll right now. Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Who do you think is going to win? Who y'all think wins this fight? Call in, call in, who y'all? Okay, we got Devin Haney. We got Haney. And we got Garcia. Okay, what's going on, Greg? Greg in the building. Greg in the building came out. He came back in. Salute to Greg Hackett. My guy. 
Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be shy. All right? There we go. We had 102 likes. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's get up to 200 likes. 200 likes. That's what we need is 200 likes. All right? Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, April 20th. What's your thoughts? Uh, be right back. Okay, Greg. Sounds good. So we'll be having Greg right back on. We have uh, Antoine Russell uh, joining us as well. He's just coming back. He had a phone call. He's taking the call and then, you know, coming right back with us. So. Smash that like button as well. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, become a member of the channel by uh, just uh, hitting the pin um, in the comments. You can become a member of Mill City Boxing. But here we are. See if we can get Greggy up in here. And uh, let's see where uh, Antoine is is up. Is up. We got HLD in the building as well. What's going on? What's going on? HLD. I'm going to call HLD the loudest man in boxing. The loudest man in boxing. But I love the energy. It's accepted over here. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Like I said, we need that 200 likes, baby. 200 likes with the interviews looking like this, baby. Why did he leave? He had a phone call. He went. His his image, you know, just came off the screen. So I said, yo, come out and come back in. So I don't know. You know, stop acting like your PR ain't from the island. Hmm. Smash that like button. We got most of he said he didn't beat the top. Oh my god, you beat you guys, yo, you guys, yo. Salute to the to the supporters and salute to the haters as well. Much love to y'all. What we got here? We got HLD was good. HLD was good. Damn man, hello, man. Our man took a break. Yeah, he took he, he took a commercial break. <laughs> he took a commercial break. Talk to me. Every time you hear this young man speak, he's very thought, you know, uh, provoking and, 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 and bringing out the stuff that not everybody pays attention to. It's very insightful. Rail in the building. Rail in the building. What's good? What's What's good? What's your thought about uh, Jermaine Ortiz and Tiafimo? Did we speak upon that? Yeah, I would love to. Talk to us. Send it away. But yeah, I'm, I'm sick of all these coaches that don't know shit about boxing. They learn how to hold the belt over the pad. Saying Jermaine or Jesus got robbed. He didn't. Mm. Talk. He didn't get robbed. He put up a great fight. He, he did way better. I thought he did, but in, in doing that, he moved too much. I think it was like, see if Fimo was chasing him around the ring. Now, in the fight, he just played that. He was faster than T.O. He looked stronger than T.O. He was more athletic than T.O. You can't deal with a mover? You said he can't deal with a mover, you saying? Tio can't? Tio can't deal with a mover. Mm. A.K.A. Runner. He didn't capitalize on the movement. He wasn't first. He didn't push the fight. He ran the whole night. Mm. Mm. He's a runner. He's a track star. That's what you're saying. He's a runner. He's a track star. Hey man, Boston Marathon, bro. Damn, <laughs> te pasaste. Wow. I mean, he could have done so much more to Tio in that fight to catapult victory, but he let it be so close. He let it be close enough for him to give the fight to Tio. Mm -hmm. I hear you. 
I hear you. What do you think about this Ryan Garcia and uh, Devin Haney? Ryan Garcia, but when Ryan Garcia for tape, he showed that Ryan Garcia did not grow one bit in boxing. Mm. He grow one bit. He was the same fighter from the amateur. You know what I'm saying? He was making the same mistakes. T.O., I mean, uh, Jermon J. Davis told him that you only got a hook, and that's all he was born in camp. And when that hook fell in, he uh he was done. Now with Devin Haney, Devin Haney ain't got power like Tim. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. will 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 that make it a different fight? That's what we all gonna see. Um a man doing how Ryan was was up born I had doing down, but when you guys see that a tendency to talk. Don't, don't, uh, don't show that in the You're back. So you want to see is that? Yeah. No, what happened? Nah, we good. We good. We just got uh Gary Antoine Russell on the live as well. We got some callers. HX, you had some. You had the first question for uh, Antoine. Yo, definitely, man. Hey, pleasure, uh, Antoine, to, to, to hear you on the panel and, and take you some of our questions, man. Much appreciated. I appreciate you, man, acknowledging me, really. Every time you speak, you're very insightful, young man. You go to that to a um, and you go to the best where, 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 you know, that, that can work stop your own thoughts of, 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 of the situations of fighting. So it, 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 it definitely says that you have an IQ to understand the game. Um, my real question with you, my man, is we need to see Antoine Russell in the ring three, four times a year minimum. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wh whoever just said that, man, need, need a goddamn award. And a check. They, so, yeah, HLD, did you hear what Antoine had to say? No, I, I couldn't hear the young man. There's like a lot of static going on. Oh, right oh, Rel, I'm going to get you back on because you have a lot of sound in the back. Oh, me? Oh, oh. No, 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 you good. I'll get you back, Rel. Okay. Yeah, my, I, I couldn't hear nothing. I'm sorry. I, I try to do like more than one caller sometimes. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, was, was, was Russell able to hear me out? I don't know if he even did that. Yeah, he said you deserve a, a, an award. And a check. A, and a check. <laughs> no, nah, man. It's, hey, the speaking facts. Every time I listen to the young man, regardless of what the situation may be going on or whatever fight he's talking about, he's very thought provoking. Like, like the way he just broke down, you know, like if he was to fight Matias or when Haney's gonna fight you know, Matias, how the it's very insightful, you know. And, and my only thing that I need to see from my, from from you know from the Mister Russells, man, yo, we need to see we need to see my man three four times in the ring. Are we gonna get to see that anytime soon? I heard he has his mental, you know, getting you know fortified his mental. Are we ready for that three four times action? Because we. We, we don't want to see this wasted talent, man. You know? Man, you, you and me both. You and me both, boss. Uh, like I said, I'm paying, I, I, I'm paying homage to, to the people I love. You know, I'm standing in the gym just trying to stay obedient. And like I told someone before, I said, I'm being patient. and patient in my profession and in life, I guess. It's not the ability to wait, but the ability to, is what you do while you're waiting, you know? Now, now, to my understanding, you were you, you're a showtime. You were a showtime fighter, right? That's how it was. You weren't strictly a PBC fighter, or are, or are they both one and the same for you at that time? Mm, I mean, I, it's not one and the same. It's definitely different. But I was a PBC fighter. And are we still like on that on that uh, 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 a PBC connected fighter still, or, or are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure how that's going to trend. 
like transfer over into any other network. I'm not sure the transition from PBC to to what. Um, I just seen something dealing with. Uh, Amazon Prime. What's that? Uh, Am you say Amazon? Amazon Prime. Right. I just seen some on YouTube. I I didn't know. I mean, they throw a lot of memes out there and stuff like that. But I don't know how legit it is. But me being a PBC fighter, uh, I know that. They're going to move me when things are definitely foundated and in order. You know, um, you don't you don't have a date for us to say, hey, I'll, I'll be in the ring by by June, July, or anything. You don't you don't have a date right now for yourself, do you? No, I'm just waiting on the call. And I'm just staying ready, so I want to get ready. I stay in the gym. You know, if I if I take off a day or two like that, it is strictly be a day of like because I don't want to leave my fight in the ring. I'm in a gym. I'd rather leave it in a ring. So it's, it's a such thing as overworking yourself. That's why people take ice plugs and stuff like that, do a little ice plug into the cold water so they can contract their muscles back together because they've been training and working so much, their muscles getting sore and fatigued and, and stuff like that. You got to replenish them. And a lot of times the ice baths and cold plugs, is it, it'll re retract your, uh, your muscles and replenish them. So... It is a such thing as overworking yourself. And that's why they do those ice baths because they get to a point where so they feel like they overworking themselves. You know, so they're just trying to make right. sure they stay hydrated and rejuvenated. And that's one of the main ways to do so. But me personally, I, I take a, a lukewarm or pool temperature shower, or sometimes I just sit in the water, you know, and let it run for for a nice amount of time just to contract my muscles, make sure that I'm cool, you know, muscle-wise. You know, um, I don't want to overdo it in the gym, but I definitely stay ready, stay close to my weight class so I won't have to be burning out and, and taking all of the fluids out of my body before I got to fight. You know, you got a lot of guys that go from 135 to 160. Yeah, there, there's a such thing as burning out in the gym and 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 and, and overtraining, most, most definitely. Mm -hmm. so, so I guess the same news for yourself, the same news for for Big Brother. Uh, we we don't know when we'll see Big Brother in the ring again anytime soon. Then either, then right? Uh, me personally, I'm not sure. But all I can say is stay tuned. Boom! <laughs> you don't even sound right. Yo, <laughs> man, so the same way y'all following up on me right now, y'all just gotta stay tuned, man. Like, come on, why stuff just can't be like anonymous? And, and sometimes, I guess, just spontaneous. Yo, I'm gonna have to hit up his brother to see what's nah. <laughs> Wow, he's in the, uh, I need to find this out right now. <laughs> yo, 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 but you should have seen the way he was looking. Man. He, he just, just just talk, just talk, Gary. Why you gotta smile like that? Like, yo. He like, you know, you know when you're like, yeah, that fight coming. <laughs> man, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I hope is what I think it is. Calvin Ford told me Tank is an oldie but a goodie. I don't. I'm wondering, was that what it was? <laughs> I'm looking man, I'm at him. I'm trying to I'm see. So he's want to look at the camera. Man, I want to close this camera right now. Like camera. Uh, man, we we talking about me, man. We talking about me, man. Okay. We okay. talking about me. Don't y'all want to see me beat Matias ass? Don't y'all want to see me fuck up a Rolly Ramiro or some shit like that? God yo. damn. Yo, listen, talk about the Roly Romero versus Pitbull Cruz fight. Yo, HLD, oh, what before you do that, do you have do you have another question, HLD? Like I call another one. Hey, excellent, man. Much blessings. I hope everything is getting getting fine-tuned within your, you know, within yourself. So we, we, we gotta see you, my man. We gotta see you in the ring. We we wanna see this talent. Uh many blessings to you and your family. I know you guys went through through your thing and 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 I know that's a difficult time for everyone and with your family. So many blessings. I hope it's the best for you and hope to see you in the ring very soon. 
Man, I appreciate you uplifting us, man. It's in us all that good energy over there and the high blessings for real, man. You do the same, man. I appreciate you as a fan. I appreciate you as an individual, man. Just stay uplifted and, and positive, man. I appreciate you so much. Just letting you know that from the heart. Hey, man. Same here, man. Many blessings. Thank you, Mill City. You got it, brother. You got it. New caller coming in. But yeah, that question I was telling you, um, Rolly Romero uh, versus Pitbull Cruz, Pitbull. March 30th. Who do I got? Yeah. Or you just want like, oh, yeah. I'm going with Pitbull, man. Pitbull. Easy work? I wouldn't say easy. Because like I said, Roley got a punch of shirts. Mm. Who have mm. who have Pitbull really been touched by? He always got a tight shell defense, you know. He keep his hands high. He haven't really been touched. Okay. But I can okay. say he, he's been exposed, you know, by uh, if he's in front of a good boxer, he had some tough times. He had a, a tough time. He won, but he fought this guy named, I want to say, Gio. Bonnie Gio. Cabrera. Right. The guy, I want to say C-class fighter. Super facts. Uh, but he did what he know. He stuck to what he know. Kept him at bay. When he got hurt, he closed the distance. He tied him up. He threw a couple of body shots, a couple of uppercuts in the inside, pushed him off. It was a little rugged here and there, but awkward. You know, he, he believed in what he had, but definitely has down C fighter. And he stayed, he stayed at, at, at a good distance from Pitbull. And that kind of like frustrated him. Mm. Pitbull, he's never fighting for the distance. Yeah, it went the distance. It went the distance. No, I'm saying for Pitbull and and, and uh, Roley, do you think that fight goes the distance? Oof, oof, oof. I don't got to go in the distance. Yeah. I don't, I don't have to go in the distance. I'm going to give you two reasons why. I don't think they got the IQ the last 12 rounds. <laughs> that's one. That's one. But I believe that's a fight when both of them want to win. And they're both trying to win the same way. Mm. Mm. And like Roly Ramirez, just like Harry Fort Tank, he can apply pressure. He can he's strong, but he will run into something. And Pitbull, he gonna sit there. He got better defense than Roly. He gonna chop side to side, catch catch, and he gonna fire. He gonna punch in threes. Fools, probably. Mm hmm. Roly not doing that. Roly, he's lining you up two, uh, uh, two hard ones. Mm -hmm. If those two hard ones connect, he might come with a third one, uppercut or something like that. You know what I mean? But everything he do is just like brute and stiff. Pitbull is going block, block, block. Mm hmm. And coming with two or three. Three or four. Nice, mm. nice little fast hard ones, too. So you say you got Pitbull, right? Yeah, I got Pitbull. I can't say if Roley do the right shit, he can pull the fight out, though. He can, he can win. Okay, okay. We got um new caller coming in. Easy Breezy, what's going on? We need a data plan from your vehicle manufacturer. What's good, y'all? Hey, 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 and Wait, first of all, I want to give you your props. No city. I'm telling you, hand down, like, yo, like, hand down, yo, you the, you the top dude on, on, on YouTube, bro. Thank you. Appreciate so, you. I, I just got to, I, and, 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 and I just got, I just started following you on Instagram, but I want to say, I'm talking about, like, yo, this ain't no cat, no nothing, bro. You is really, yo, you ain't biased, you ain't fake, everything about you sound like, really, I, I, like, I get up, uh, I, I, I'm at work. I make sure I log I I I I lock in with you. But much love, I, brother. This, this is what I wanna say. First, Antoine Russell, that's that that's like that's one of my favorite fighters. Mm. Like, Thank you. Know, you. I, 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 Thank I, you. I'm 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 talking about I'm gonna see him probably having trouble fighting once he gets to like one fifty four, if he go to fifty four. But everybody at one forty, even one forty 
47. Even 147. I don't see nobody beating him. I like his style. It reminds me of a of a um a, a more athletic threat like with Earl Smith pressure, but more athletic. You get what I'm talking about? Like in he's a boxer. Dang. Yeah. I like I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that viewpoint and that comparison. <laughs> You didn't like the other day with the with the the, the um, you didn't like the Sean Porter, Porter comparison. Hell you didn't Jesus like that, but you no. like his. You like his comparison. Listen, like Earl Smith. Er, the difference between Earl Smith and Sean Porter, they won. Earl knocked him out, put him down. Oh, that we put him down. The difference between them two, they put him down. He knocked him out, but he put definitely crushed him. Put 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 a put a beating on uh Sean Porter and he, them them two yes they are pressure fighters like I said I, I broke it down to a science they are both pressure fighters but Earl got more skills than Sean Porter he just got more in his arsenal than Sean Porter you was saying you use angles you use angles off your with your jab they don't know when you coming. So that's why your fight is really exciting. They don't, they don't know how you coming. Like that, that reaping hook that you that you did to old boy, man, that was nasty. See, that was and and look, that's something that's something that I wasn't gonna bring out, but because he was a uh, uh, as pedestrian fighter. He was switching from South Park to Orthodox. So if you was to listen to that fight again or watch that fight again, you'll hear him, him, my brother, like, hey, he just switched. Like, we worked on that. All right, you go South Park, it's certain shots that we can throw on South Park that'll work. You go Orthodox, it's certain shots that are on the Orthodox, it will work. You know, but I got to pick up this, like, simultaneously. And that shot, it came because he had, like, literally had just switched to another position, I said, oh, I don't think he, he hip to the game plan. He ain't hip at all. So I'm, I'm about to check him real fast. I faint it. I shot a jab to the body. I faint it. And his hand. I said, I got his ass. That, huh. that, that, that leap of hook was unorthodox. Like, nobody could, could prepare for Exactly. 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 I said, anybody going to court with that. And they better have it thin hold up. Cause that was that that wasn't that that ain't textbook. That was something that you said, you know what? I'm athletic enough to do it. She said, let me let, let me go back to my, my Roy Jones bag real quick. Yeah, yeah that was nasty. That, that was nasty. But yeah, that that the Earth Smith, that's my favorite fighter. That 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 I Yo, salute to you because there's not too many people saying that right now. So salute to you. Definitely. People been riding them out. I've been feeling bad. The same thing. Crawford beat his ass. He was a better man that day. Champion versus champion, but I still like Earl Smith, man. I like Earl Smith. I mean, of course, you got to be wise and, and kind of like take from everybody because you got different styles and different intelligence behind these styles that works if you was to use in the right way. Me personally, I feel like I, I got all I got all of the attributes to do it all. I'm still young, like you say. I'm athletic and I'm strong. I'm fast. I got good eyes. I got a good IQ. I'm bringing heart. Like, I ain't, I'm gonna fuck with you big. You ain't gonna spook me at this mm. point. Now, I'm just like, I'm and thinking about how I'm about to break you down. My name is Carl Brown on YouTube. Carl Brown, I'm always in your, um, in your chat. I'm always trying to catch you live. I'm always asking, How do I, I call in? How do I call? I don't know how to call. So, I just be standing in, live, in your live chat, but I don't miss none of them. But, like, when I say, like, I look at a lot of other YouTubers, but man, yo, I think I think a lot of people, even that you be interviewing, I think they be hating on you because how the level of realness that you you, you ain't buy it, you ain't got no favorite. You just I, ever since I've been ever since I've been following you, we're gonna get in straight down the middle, bro, straight down the middle. Appreciate and, you. And, and if they don't see it your way, you still be trying to make them feel comfortable, like. I uh, just look at it just like you had Bill on there. Oh, I was dying to get on there. And I ain't gonna lie. This ain't no, I ain't got no hate towards no boxers. I'm a boxer fan. I've been, why ain't gonna knock Devin out? Why ain't gonna expose Devin? I just want to say, why ain't gonna expose Devin what everybody been saying? And I, I've been seeing it ever since the, um, the fight that he had with, um, with, 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 with,
Diaz. Yep. I've been seeing it. Yeah. They, they, they forgetting that Ryan, they keep on saying, they keep running with that Ryan, with Kent saying Ryan got that, just that left hook. Ryan caught Kent with a major right hook on him. Yeah. 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 Ryan got more than what they and Devin know that. Devin know that. And let's be real about it. Ryan body shot going to a major factor inside that thing. What do you think, Gary? You think you, you think the body the body attack on Ryan could be play a big factor in the fight? It could. It could, but just like any fighter, you gotta land, you gotta land a shot. I told you, I, I gave you my breakdown already. I think Devin Haney, he got the fighting style with, though he's going to sit in the pocket sometimes, and he definitely going to uh, uh, retreat when he needs to. Styles make mm-hmm. fights. I think Ryan Garcia, he got the tools and the attributes to beat him, but I think he's going to go in there thinking with just a hook, mm-hmm. a jab and a hook. He got a nice, fast jab. If he keep that jab in his face long enough, Good enough. I think that would invite Devin Haney to say, all right, let me go walk at this man. I got to walk at him because I'm getting touched too much. Now I got to impose my will. And once he then do that, Ryan can start shooting his hooks and his body shots. Because look at Teofimo Lopez and Ortiz. If Teofimo Lopez would have landed his shot, the fight could have been over. But he got to land that shit. Same thing with Ryan Garcia. You got to land these body shots. You got to land these punches you're talking about that's going to make the fight go in his favor. Facts. Jay Breezy, you right. got any... You, never do every fight. I just I need to get into some more... I just got to get into some more callers, but if you could just give me one more um one question for, for Gary. All right. Hey, all right. First, first, Gary, when, when next time you fight... Man, TBA, to be announced, man. Just stay tuned. Keep following me. Keep supporting me, man. And, and keep giving shout-outs to Mill City Boxing. Appreciate you for all the love and support, my brother. Thank you for calling in. Take care. New caller coming in. New caller coming in. Thank you, Gary, for showing love to the fans. I think that's lit. I think that's Definitely. cool. Definitely, definitely, man. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. You know, uh, I, I try to try to not beat around no bushes. Everybody can't take constructive criticism the same same way. So it's like you got to be walking on eggshells with certain people the way you you bring forth information and, and talk to them. Everybody can't do it with the bag. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. I try to be real about it. So it's like, hey. We got a new caller coming in. What's your name? Where you from? My name Troy. Uh, uh, I'm from Landover, Maryland. Nice you man. Know? We got yeah. Antoine. We got Antoine Russell on the live. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's why I called it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, big fan. We, we, you know, we, you know, I'm a fan of the whole Russell family, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Uh, you know. We've been following you. We been following. We followed your brother' career. You know, back when he was coming up. Uh, now we following your career and your and your other brother, man. I uh, want to see your other brother. You know, what I'm saying get that Antonio. Kid yeah. And, and you know, I ran into Antonio. I ran into Gary. Uh, you know, in gyms, out on the street. You know, uh, just random places. Uh, right, but, right, right. Uh, bro. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of you, bro, and, and, and I just want to see you be more active, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it in the buck. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've I've been trying. I've been going on all these boxing podcasts, and, and people saying Mat- Matisse is the boogeyman. I'm saying no. Antoine is the boogeyman at 140. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's how I feel. Nobody want to see you for real, for real. At, at 140. That's uh, how I feel. I, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody, no rush to get in there with Antoine Russell. And, uh, bro, I, you know, I just want to see you be active, man. You know what I'm saying? Two, three, you know, each, four fights a year if possible, man. You know, uh, well, one thing I feel about Gary, I think Gary 
he he could go down, you know, one of the best ever, especially here in the D and D. You know, Sugar Ray is probably the best, but Gary was, was a second close, uh, 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 or close second. I mean, uh, in my opinion, you know, but he could have passed Sugar Ray if he was a little bit more active. But I know the politics and the business side of boxing ain't always allow Gary to, you know, what I'm saying, be great. But you know. You know, I, I, I'm, I, want, I want to see y'all boys, you know what I'm saying, turn up. Yeah, definitely, man. I'm, I'm all for it. Like I said, I, I always tell people I'm in it for the long haul, man. And at this point, I'm just waiting my turn, staying in shape and waiting my turn, waiting for a phone call. You know, there's no set date as of now, but just stay tuned. You know, I'm going to keep doing interviews and stuff like that, making sure that I'm in, in, the, in the forefront. Let everybody know what's going on. I'm going to keep them busy, too. I'm going to keep them busy right here. We need that. We need that. We need them dudes in the ring. Him and his brothers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you my brother, for tapping in, man. For sure. For we getting into sure. another call. My God. My God. My God. Man, appreciate the uplifting, man, and all the love you show, man. Thank you for supporting my family, really. Real rap, real rap. Got a new caller coming in, new caller coming in. And for people that want to call in, it's Mill City Boxing on IG for the people that are on YouTube. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's on your mind? Where? You, what's your name? Where you from? I mean, he's from New York. He's from New York. Now, I was talking to you the other day with Edwin and stuff like that. I don't know if you remember. It was like two days ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? Thank you for the help. I just, I just going cooler. I mean... Damn, with the Teal Fema fight, man, 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 I don't know, man. That fight was a little, I feel like Jermaine really didn't want to engage like that, to be honest. Teal did try to press him the whole night. Like, I don't understand how people miss that. They said he was losing rounds, but literally from the first round, I seen Teal Fema catch him to the body, to the face, and Jermaine said he didn't catch him to the face, but if we look at that first round, I will give Teals the first round, the fifth, sixth, seventh, probably the eighth, okay, the ninth, and tenth, and eleventh. Bro, he was he was shutting him out, mm. like literally pressure him the whole fight. Like, how can you win like that? Like, honestly, Jermaine was doing a lot of good things. Bro, I'm not gonna take that away. He was, he definitely was. But then again, it's like everybody say, Will is really the offense. So if you're not able to get no offense, how you how you gonna win? Hmm. Mm. And the man is literally pressing you down and like Teal, everybody's saying Teal can't box. Teal could box. But whether he's choosing to box in a championship fight, like, you feel me? He's trying to come on, like, it's a rivalry. Let's get the people, you feel me? Let's build up our status more. Because if Jermaine would have at least applied it more, you could have built up, you feel me? You could have built it more. I'm not saying don't box, don't move around, but like, press him a little bit. Like, feel me? Let's hit, show your business. Show why you here to do, you feel me? Why you gonna take the champ down? Like, I feel like it was none of that. Hey Gary, I, I, good take on that. Now, Gary, I have a question. When you, when you, I don't know if you was able to see, but uh, Matias might be going to match him and possibly fight in uh, Liam Paro. Did you, did you see that? I saw that. Is that one at one forty-seven? No, no, no. That'll, that'll be at uh, one forty. No catch. Wait. Don't get me wrong. I do got a question for Gary. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I, I have him on the line right here, so I just wanted to respect and uh, just get, get his question. Man, much respect, bro. Keep doing your thing. But if it was up to you, bro, who would you want to fight next? Like, if it's up to you, like, I would want to know who would you really want to fight next? Up to you. I don't know how many times I got to tell people, man. Give me Matias. I want everybody in the 140 division to got a title. Right now, you got Rody Ramirez going up against Pitbull. You got Devin Haney that's about to go up against Ryan Garcia. And you got Matias. Obviously, I just heard about him that's going up against uh, whatever this guy is. Name is. And Gordo, Teofimo Lopez, he just fought. So, I want all of the titles. But I only... I specifically asked for Matias because everybody kept striving away from him. Like they was, like, y'all scared to fight this man? Come on, send him my way. No, send him my way. I want to bring boxing. 
I do like Matisse a lot, though. Don't get me wrong. I do like Matisse a lot. I just feel like he can't get caught with big shot. And if you do carry them hands, like, you could... Not saying, like, of course you specifically too, but I'm saying, like, people that carry the power could box as well. Like, I feel like that's going to be a major problem. And if you could take a punch too, that's going to be a major problem for Matisse. I'm not going to lie, but I do. I ain't going to lie, he's a dude. Y'all both dudes. And I ain't going to lie, I can't wait to see that fight when it do happen. Absolutely, my God. Thank you for tapping in with me. Uh, I'm not about to be in there taking no punches. If I do, it's going to be something that's like graze me or if it do hit me, I'm going to be able to like deflect it because of my defense. I might let it roll off or something like that. But I got a lot of things in my arsenal that I can do that I still haven't showed people. The reason why I have it, you ever heard the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Yeah. Yeah. That's basic. That's basically what it is. You got a lot of these opponents. They not well rounded fighters. They they either can't fight going backwards or they freeze up when multiple multiple punches get thrown at them. Mm. If you look at any of my fights. It's not just like I'm just walking a person down, stalking a person down. No, I'm going behind like four jabs. I'm touching the body coming upstairs because yeah. these guys they don't know how to respond to shit like that. You you in spawn, you in the gym, recreationally training. Like, come on, if you gonna spar, you supposed to spar like how you gonna fight. We got a new caller in right here, Coach Calvin. What's going on, Coach Calvin? New caller. Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We have uh, Gary Antoine on the live right here. Yeah, what's happening, young champion? How you feeling, King? I'm all right. I'm all right. We here. Yeah. Do you know who you're talking to? I know a couple of Coach Calvins, you know. <laughs> how about how about the band man? <laughs> hey, yo. No, no, hey, no, no, yeah. All right, shout out to Coach Calvin, y'all. Little y'all know. He helped me and the fam get together, get ready for these fights. You know what I mean? We be on some next level in shape stuff, dealing with this, man. Y'all need any type of band work, that's who you go to. I don't matter. It don't matter how big you are, how strong you are, how in shape you are. This man will break you down. He will test your limits. I'm telling you. He will test your willpower. So a lot of the stuff that he, he done put us through, it it, it 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 paid off. It definitely paid off. And I appreciate you being in our corner, man, being a main supporter, a strong supporter, you know, um, in and out the ring. You know, uh, how you been? Well, you know, look, you know how they go. And the thing about it, the unfortunate part, uh, shout out to Mill City Boxing, et cetera, for, you know, providing this platform to be able to talk to fighters who, again, I think that people are kind of overlooking. Boogeyman, call it whatever you want, say whatever you want. I, I don't do things for bias. I've trained all over the world. I've trained more than just boxers. You know, I work with track athletes, NFL, NBA. I just actually got back from Africa, trained in 32 different countries. This is not about me and resume, but resume matters. And I've been around those brothers for the past eight years. And again, here's a historical fact that we probably already know. The Kamagan brothers, Kamada brothers rather, are the only family that has three champions in one family. Now, once Antoine wins his belt, Gary wins his belt, Gary Jr., and Antoine smashes on his level, they'll be the first. American-born fighters with three brothers holding three titles in the same family. And this one's coming down the street, man. So I'm going to get off right here, man. I saw that you was on here. I befriended uh, my brother, the champion that runs Mill City Boxing. I see that he talks to just about everybody. And there's always a platform where there's fairness as well as appreciation. But... Uh, I'm ready to get back in that gym with you, man. And we got some bands in the pool work coming up. Something they don't know nothing about, but it's okay. The proof is in the pudding. I appreciate you, Coach, for tapping in, man. This was a, quite of a surprise. 
I'm glad that you uh, follow the channel as well. Uh, yes, sir. Gary, uh, closing arguments for the coach. <laughs> you froze up, Gary? I think he froze. But uh, <laughs> nevertheless, Coach, thank you for tapping in as well. I'm about to be closing up, but uh, definitely, um, we definitely like to get you back on as well. You know, like to hear your story. No problem at all. Anytime. And I follow you, man. And much love. And anything you need from me, let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Will do. Appreciate you. you. God bless. Yep. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. It's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing, home of the High Level Pro Boxing Media, the Fighters Channel, the Trainers Channel, the People's Channel. Uh, it seems to me that uh, the members link is kind of tweaking. So I'm going to resend the members link because I want to make sure that um, all my members stay members, if you feel what I'm saying. Um, so let me get that. Let me get that to Coda in the chat, um, in the chat. So anybody that wants to, you know, become a member, um, you guys can do so as well. Uh, smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Uh, um Post it right now for you guys. Sorry about that too. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. All right. So here's the members. If you want to become a member, here it is right there. So if you want to become a member, check that one out guys let me know if that is uh the right pin who y'all got who y'all got you got haney versus ryan garcia wow 483 votes y'all got 68 percent of y'all believe devin haney wins i would have to agree i think devin haney wins comfortably i'm not gonna lie smash that like button ladies and gentlemen as well and um Check out the link code to let me know if everything is right. If we got everything set up. Jackie, let me know. Let me know what's up. Uh, give, give me the heads up, guys, on uh, if the link is correct, if we got it going on the right way. All right? Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, for people that won't become a member, get the exclusive content plus the members only live coming real soon once we hit our mark. Uh, we got Elijah Garcia, going to be probably tonight's interview. Um, also, Coach Kenny Ellis. So just stay tuned. We got the hottest interviews in the game right now. So smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Um, you know, hopefully we got all the callers that wanted to come in and tap in. Uh, but uh, let me know what y'all did, did. The link work, guys? Let me know in the comment section if the members link is working right now. OK, um, and smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, as well. I heard that is visible. So love the culture, love the appreciation for the sport. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's not allowing me to click. Click it, Mills. What the hell? All right. So let me try this. Try this link, then. Try just that. Maybe, maybe I messed it up. Maybe I put the. How about how about that link, Jackie? Let me know if you guys. Uh, the members link is working. It's sad. I'm out here promoting the members link and it's not working. Why is your chat dark? Your chat room dark. Don't know. Smash that like button though. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Um, let me know if the members link works. Just want to make sure it does. I love your YouTube channel. River Rap, appreciate you, bro. Uh, Elijah, what's going on? What's going on? Teal versus Russell. Good fight. I ain't going to hold you. Definitely a good fight. Even the casualists know that the Haney versus Garcia fights trash. It's almost an obvious man. It's almost an obvious. But if Garcia get not, nah, you know what? I mean, let me keep this a hundred. It shouldn't be. It should definitely oppose um, some difficult 
difficulties for for Haney as far as the speed, the length is concerned. You know what I mean? Fix the logo in the back. Oh man, smash the like button, everybody else. Everybody on my neck today, they're like, yo, make sure you got everything right. But you know what? That's appreciative just to know that everybody looking out. So, Mill, salute, my guy. Salute, T.Y., salute. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Is the members link uh, working in the in the comments? Let me know what, in the comments if the members link is working. And make sure you guys, if you guys want to become a member, um, tap that link. Matter of fact, why don't I just go check my soap? Okay. Damn, it's not letting me either. Oh, wow. It's not letting me. Hold on one second. I'm going to have to get this right. Invite viewers to, sh to join your channel. Oh, damn. All right, so check this one out. Damn, I messed this up big time. Here it is. It's the format mills. It's not working. No, check that one out right there. That one that I just posted is the one. For sure. Damn, it's not. What the hell is going on? Well, hopefully, share members, share your members' videos. I don't know. I got to go fix it. I don't know what's going on with my members, membership stuff. Share your members only videos. So let's just. I'm at, I'll figure it out. I think I have an idea. I'll figure it out. I'll put it up in the chat when we're done. I uh, appreciate each and every single one of y'all for tapping in as well. This format is very awkward and confusing, Mills. The IG platform is not user-friendly. Not just that. The the new application for this YouTube as well has kind of gotten me a little like. But I'll figure it out for my next interview. So I have everything set up. Um, and I apologize for people that are trying to become members. I know if you go into the laptop, when you press join in the beginning, where where the, the main bio is, you'll find it. But nevertheless, we'll get to it. Um, I'll put it back. Uh, you back on later? Yeah, I'll be back on later. I'll be back on later with another interview with y'all, all right? So smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you guys for tapping in. And uh, yeah, I'll get, it, I'll get these things working. The YouTube version is working well on the phone app. I'm okay. Um, Mills, thank you again on the live. Absolutely. Salute to everybody. Appreciate you guys. I'll be back with another one, all right?